I've never seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies And I'm not proud of my address Hey girls, so this is just an overview of how my vanity and my makeup drawers look. The vanity itself is from Walmart. I ordered it online and it came with the bench. And the bench actually has a cute pattern on it. And that's just how the vanity looks. It comes with a cute mirror. And also the knobs on the drawer is pretty cute because it matches my knobs up there, my curtains, if you guys can see that. So I just, I just think it looks really cute with the theme of my room. And for the vanity, I got it online on sale. Actually, my mom ordered it for me for Christmas. These two items are my Christmas gifts, early Christmas gifts. And it was $120 for both pieces. And then the cards itself was $39.99 plus taxes and shipping. So it was a pretty good deal. I got these items for under $200. When the vanity that I wanted from Ikea was going to be like $250. So I'm really excited with my new vanity and my drawers. So I just wanted to film this video. And I also got a request from one of my viewers. So I guess we'll just start off with the vanity on top. So on top I just keep this acrylic um, like little container that I got at the dollar store. And I filled it up with marbles that I also got at the dollar store. And I just have a Real Techniques powder brush, Sonia Kashuk, e.l.f. brushes, and Eco Tools. And that's about it for my brushes. I don't really have a lot. I just started with my makeup collection and collecting makeup and starting out with makeup. So I don't really have much. Then I just have an e.l.f. Kabuki face brush that my boyfriend got me. I have a Dazzling Diamond hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. And I have back there the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Setting Spray. So I just like to keep those things over there because those are the things that I use every day. And then I just have a Bath & Body Works Cranberry Pearl Bellini Candle Burning, which I usually just light up like when I'm doing my makeup and like cleaning my room or something, for instance. And then I have this mirror that I got from Marshalls. Yeah, it was Marshalls. I got it for $15, and I also like it because it, it ties in with the theme of my room because of those like... Um, clear balls or diamonds I don't know really know what they are <laughs> but it just ties in with my room and so for this drawer I want it eventually to um, use it as my everyday face drawer but the containers that I have to individually organize everything didn't fit in there so I just had to compromise and just put my uh, everyday like um, how do I say I guess this is my face products I guess like I have my eye makeup remover from Maybelline I have my face cleansing towelettes from CVS there which are almost done then back there I just have my contacts uh, my cotton rounds to take on my eye makeup and then I just have my moisturizer and my correcting serum and then back here I just have towels which I use when I do my makeup so it doesn't get uh, my vanity dirty so I guess that's like my take care of my face store I guess I have no idea what to call it but that's what I had to do for compromising, even though I really wanted my everyday face stuff. So uh, now we're going to move on to the drawers. Or my cart, I guess you can say. So in the front right here, I just have this silver tray that I got from Goodwill. But I'm pretty sure you guys can find it like in any dollar store. I saw them um, at Deals and Family Dollar, dollar stores like that. And I just use it as like my, my perfume tray. So I just have my nice perfumes here. And then back here, I just keep, for instance, um, deodorant, body lotion, body sprays, and mini body sprays, that I, which I just like to throw in my purses, which is, um, like, really easy just to throw in them. So that's all that I keep up there. If you guys want me to do a perfume collection, just thumbs up this video or let me know down below in the comments. And these drawers come with, I think, 12 drawers? Yeah, 12 drawers. And I also like these drawers because they're kind of like acrylic, but they're really not acrylic. But they kind of are the closest thing that I can get to acrylic because acrylic ones are really expensive. And then I also like the little knobs. They're really cute and girly. So for the first drawer, it's pretty empty. But I keep these two containers that I got at Walmart. They come in a pack of three for a dollar something. So you guys should go pick up um, organizers from there. 
And first, I just have my everyday face stuff over here. So I have my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. And this is my all-time favorite foundation at the moment. Then I have my fake Beauty Blender knockoff from Amazon. I have my eyelash curler and my sharpener. And then I just have some tweezers down there. Then over here, I just have my e.l.f. eyelid primer, my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara, my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner, my NYC Liquid Lip Shine, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Bra Gel, and my Milani Liquid Eyeliner. Then I just have my uh, all-time favorite trio, which is like good for every day. It has like a nice baby pink brown and a good brow bone color and this is the wet and wild walking on eggshells and then i just keep my nyc brow powder so that's all for the first door that's basically what i use like when i'm in a rush this is what i use for school and this is what i use on the weekends that i don't really have time to plan on my eye makeup you know so that's just like my everyday face store and if you guys want like updated face stores like monthly if i switch up products and stuff you guys can request that down below then over here I just have my face drawer and the containers are also from Walmart. So over here I have my foundations. I have the Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation, NYC Skin Matching Foundation and the Mary Kay Timewise Luminous Wear Liquid Foundation right there. Then over here I just have the Some Kind of Gorgeous Light um, Foundation from Benefit and my first foundation ever which is obviously not my skin color I'm not that tan but I like to use it for the summer that's the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation so that's it for that one this container have concealers I have my elf tone correcting concealer my Bake Up by Benefit concealer one of my favorites and the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour concealer then back here I have my three powders I have my Maybelline Fit Me which I should be up here because I just finished my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and I used it for my products, I've used that video, so that has to go in this drawer because I'm obviously going to be using that powder every day. Then I have my e.l.f. Clarifying Face Powder, which is only a dollar, and I put it um, in my purse when I'm in a rush. Or this is the one that I put in my purse with my Kabuki Face Brush over there. So I could touch up during the day. Then in this container, I have my Professional, which I like to use for days that I want my makeup to last all day, like on special events. Then I have a mini Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I got um, when I ordered the Online Deluxe Palette. Then I have a Super Stay 24 Hour, 24 Hour? 40 SPF um, Clinique Moisturizer. I have an e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. A NYX Blush in Mocha. I love this blush, it's so pretty. Then I have a Love & Beauty by Forever 21 Cream Blush. Then I have an e.l.f. blush from the e.l.f. Essentials line, which I haven't used yet. It's my newest blush. And then I have the e.l.f. blush from the professional, no, from the studio line. I love this blush. That was like one of my first blushes ever. So then over here on the side, my bronzers didn't really fit in one of the containers, so I had to compromise. So I just have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in 7040 Bikini Contest. I have the Rimmel, um, which one is this one? Rimmel Face Bronzer. I forgot what it's called. It just kind of looks like the Stay Matte Bronzer. It's in 027 Sundance. That's the natural bronzer. Then I have the Maybelline bronzer in Sunlight, which I can kind of use as a powder because it's pretty light. And then I have an e.l.f. Um, Healthy Glow bronzing powder, which I haven't used that. That's pretty new. So I just keep my bronzers there at reach since they don't fit in one of the containers, but I still think everything looks nicely put in that drawer. For the third drawer, I have lip stuff, so I don't have much lip stuff, as you guys know, I'm starting off my makeup collection. I've been collecting for almost, I would say, like half a year now, and I have two MAC lipsticks um, in Girl About Town and Russian Red. And then I have two Milani lipsticks, which is in Rose Hip, and this is Naturally Chic, I think, yeah. And then I have two matte, NYX matte lipsticks, which I hate that peachy one, but it would do maybe for like a, like a nice like summer lip. And then I have the NYX matte lipstick, which this is literally one of my all-time favorite lipsticks because it stays on all day. And I don't really have to reapply it at all. I just put some lip gloss since it's pretty matte. And then in this container, I keep more lipsticks. I have two Maybelline Color Whispers, which I don't really like these because they wear off so quickly. 
I don't think that's like a good lipstick. This is um, in number 10 and this one is in number 50. So I just have like a nice cherry color and a nude color. Then I have one Revlon lip color, which lip butter, my bad, which I've been using for the fall and winter and this is in 010 Raspberry Pi. Then I have an e.l.f. lipstick, which is in the color uh, Voodoo, and it's just this pretty like red lipstick, which I haven't used yet. And then I have my first lipstick ever, which are the NYC ones that are a dollar, which I used to use, but I don't use anymore, but I'm not going to get rid of it. And then I have my lip glosses in this one. I have NYC Lick and Lip Shine, Neutrogena, um, Lancome, Ulta. I have MAC Dazzle Glass, and then I have this one from Aeropostale that my mother-in-law just gave me. I have YSL, um, Victoria's Secret, ELF, this one's ELF, this one's really good. Um, and then I have this Revlon lipstick, which I thought didn't look good. I mean, this is not Revlon, this is Dior, which I didn't think it would look good here, but it is a lipstick, and it's like a nice maroon color. Then over here, I just have my lip balms. I have two Maybelline Baby Lips in Peach Kiss, and... Which one's this one? I forgot. Pink Punch. And then I have an EOS lips, lip balm in Minty Sheer, I think it is. I have this lip balm that I got as a stocking stuffer last year, which you can see it's from Walgreens. And then I have a Nivea one and a regular chapstick in Peppermint, which, oh my god, it leaves your mouth feeling so, like, refreshed, like if you just brush your teeth. So that's all for my lip drawer. Then we're going to start off with the eyes. I just have... In this one, I keep my mascara, so I have the Clinique um, High Impact Mascara. I really like this one. I have the Maybelline Great Lash, the e.l.f. dollar one, which is lengthening and defining mascara. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills one, a Victoria's Secret Epic Lash, and an old hard candy, like, green one. And then, in this one, I keep eyeliners. So I have like liquid eyeliners from Milani, I have some from e.l.f., these are really pretty, they came in a pack of three, and I got those for Christmas like two years ago, and then I just have stick eyeliners from the Color Workshop, I have um, Victoria's Secret, the matching one to the mascara, I have some Jordana, these are really good guys, I have a Wet n Wild one in this pretty like turquoise green color, I have, um, what else? I have some Avon, and that's, I think that's about it. I have some Rimmel, oh, this is a Rimmel one, this is a really good one. So that's it for eyeliners. Then over here, I just have my cream eyeshadow bases. So I have some color tattoos. This one is in um, Edgy Emerald. I have my Fair One, which should be in my everyday face drawer. This is my Inked and Pink color eye tattoo, which is a pretty color. So I have four of those right here. And then I keep this Mary Kay cream eyeshadow in this like nice bronzy color. And then I have this e.l.f. dual eyeshadow cream, which is only a dollar. Then over here I just have the NYX jumbo eye pencil and milk. I have some Anastasia cream eyeshadows. I have these like cheap brands, but they do work. I don't know where you guys can find these. I have these like in five colors. And I also have like another Anastasia cream eyeshadow. So that's all for the cream eyeshadows. Then over here, I just keep my brow stuff. I have the Anastasia um, brow powder, which cracked on me, but I still use it. It's my favorite brow powder. And then I have the Benefit Smoking Eyes um, brow kit, which is pretty cute. And I, that I just put on the side since I only have two items for brows, aside from my everyday drawer, which I keep my NYC brow powder. So now... So now for this drawer, oh it's not that drawer is it? Oh yeah we're already almost done. So now for my eyeshadow drawer, this container I got at, um, uh, I have no idea where I got it, actually I do, I I actually thought of the idea because it came like, a, like originally it was a gift and it had like perfume, lotion, all that and I just originally had it as a nail polish stand um, on my nightstand over there. But I changed it to make it like an organizer for the drawer. So I just have all my eyeshadows up here. I have an NYC single in this nice purple color. I have a Maybelline single in um, emerald. Then I have my three um, eyeshadows from Urban Decay. These are just single ones. This is half baked. 
I have Urban Decay SWF and I have Urban Decay Chronic. And then I have these cute hard candy like glitter eyeshadows. Oh, they're really slippery. Which this one I use for Halloween for my army like um, costume. And then I have an NYC color wheel, another hard candy, but this is like a pink glitter. And then I have a Beauty Rush, the Old Brown from Victoria's Secret, Wet or Dry Shadow, uh, Victoria's Secret Pigment, and an LA Colors Shimmering Loose Facial I mean Eyeshadow Powder. So then over here, I just have like these cheap brands, eyeshadows, like the ones you get from Christmas by the Color Workshop, etc. Then over here, I just keep two Rimmel Glam Eyes HD little like um, shadows. And then this is my first eyeshadow quad ever. This is from Icing, and I still use it to this day. It's like definitely beat up, but I love the colors. And then I have an NYC quad and an Avon like little palette. Then over here, I have two NYC quads, which are like $5. They're really inexpensive. And then I have these Revlon Colorstay quads, which are really pretty. And I have two e.l.f. quads in like these watercolors and these smoky brown colors. Then over here, I just have all of my LA colors. I have this black smoky eye and this brown smoky eye. And then I have three LA colors with like these crazy colors. <laughs> and then I have my two Dior um, quads back there, which are high end. And that's about it for my eyeshadow drawer. Then down here I have my palettes, which I have the Urban Decay Online Deluxe Palette, excuse me, the Victoria's Secret Palette, another Victoria's Secret, another Victoria's Secret. Then back there I just have the e.l.f. Glitter Eye like um, Christmas Edition palettes. Then over here, that's an e.l.f. like little palette as well. Then over here I just have like these non-brown ones. Which are like um, the little girl ones, you know, but I still use it. Shimmery um, eyeshadow palette, Giordano, and this one is the Smoky Eye, um, like tutorial palette. Then over here, I just have nail polish. Let me know if you guys want me to do a nail polish collection. You could just leave a request down below, and I'll gladly do it for you guys. Then over here, this is just like my um, new product store. I have like an, a backup of like the Elf Eyelid Primer, a backup of the Baby Lips whenever I finish those, extra eyeliners, a lip gloss that I haven't opened yet, another liquid eyeliner, then I have just um, an extra like makeup remover um, wipes pot. I have more cotton rounds. This is just like my refill drawer kind of. I have cotton balls and like these facial wipes back there. Then this drawer gets pretty messy, but I know like how everything is organized in my head. I have my hair stuff here, hairspray, um, heat protectant, detangler, curling thing, leave-in conditioner, nail stuff, and this over here has nail stuff as well. Then for my last drawer, I just have my hot tools. I have my straightener, curling wand, other curling tool, brush, soft brush, comb, and like my mini iron over there, which I don't really use. So, this is an 18 minutes long video, so... <laughs> I'm so sorry if you guys like um, had to like waste 20 minutes of your life. But if you did like it, just thumbs up this video. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if you guys want a room tour in the future. Whatever you guys want me to do, just leave down below in the comments and I'll gladly do it for you. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. If you, also, if you guys have any questions about anything that I didn't mention in the video, just leave it down below. Bye guys.